Hello everybody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon, a farewell to arms. In the last episode, we had our first run as the gunslinger and he is tickety boo. He is very, very fun and he's very, very good. I actually recently found out what this does. Oh, it looks like we bought all the items. We've cleaned out his shop now. That's good to know. But uh, yeah, I actually found out what this does here. Basically, if we complete a path with each character, we get an alternate version of their starting item i don't know if it works for blasphemy as well we do get an alternate version not it doesn't functionally do anything different it just looks different to fit their alternate costume which is kind of cool it's a little bit extra to go for but now we are going to do a rainbow run as this boy because rainbow runs plus mad amount mad amount of synergies seems like a really fun idea so we're gonna go and head into that and do that straight away and see what we can get. It basically means we can pick and choose the synergies we get as well, considering it drops, like, a certain amount of items, and we can pick between them. Well, that's new, so I kind of want that. What does that do? Sprung. The way of guns. Is that called Sprung? Sprung? Let's have a look. They didn't have any synergies, which is sad. Transforms into a powerful weapon under mysterious circumstances. The bullet sprite will transform into an enormous, powerful, radiant energy weapon under certain circumstances. Traditionally, this means showing proficiency in bridge delivery and maintenance. If no bridge is available, however, it will take less important things like courage and determination into consideration. That, to me... Oh, it follows us. Okay, okay. That's interesting. To me, that means that we have to go and do something to do with the elevator. We got the club! Do you reckon it drops any D-tier weapon, then? Because last time we got the Makarov, I thought it was going to be just the Makarov. Seems like any D-tier weapon, but honestly, when a synergy is involved in that equation, pretty happy with it. Seems pretty decent. I like it a lot. The club is actually pretty bad, even with the synergy, but as a starting weapon, okay. The only thing is, again, I don't really know what happens if we run out of ammo here. I, I hope it just refills, you'd think, maybe, considering it's our only gun, but I don't know. But yes, we are going to be uh, kind of screwed if it does run out of ammo, considering we have no other way to get any other guns. So I, I really don't know what that means for us, because obviously in a rainbow run, you're not going to get any chests or any items from shops. So we are going to be stuck with just this, and it does expend ammo at a relatively fast rate compared to others. The club that is, oh my god. But it does seem to just give you a random D tier. I don't know if it's a selection of specific weapons or if it's just any D tier. It'd be cool if it's any D tier because that means you could get things like Casey to start with. With the synergy. Imagine that. Imagine that. That would be very, very fun. Basically, barrel stuffing an enemy seems like the best way to use this thing, though. There you go. We're going to try and go for Junkin, obviously. It's a pretty good thing for signing secret rooms as well. That's another good thing about this about this character. He starts with a very decent ability to find secret rooms. We will go to the oubliette this time. We will indeed. Uh, got him. Got him. Yeah, we'll go to the oubliette this time. But yeah, so I'm thinking if we maintain the elevator, maybe something to do with the elevator, man. Maybe this thing turns into this energy weapon it's speaking of. It's sad that we did get an item that doesn't actually do anything for us in this current moment, and it may not for the entire run, but I couldn't exactly say no to a new item now, could I? That would be... That wouldn't be in the spirit of a good, uh, of a good Gungeon run, would it? Now, we don't need to search the entire floor like we did in past runs, because we, we're not trying to unlock characters anymore. We do have both the characters unlocked now, so we don't have to worry about that too much. But I am still going to explore the floor anyways, just just because. I don't know, there could be something else in store for us, like a shrine, like a pop shrine or something useful. Oop, I didn't roll. I never roll when these things hit, hit, hit me. I just ignore them. I'm so stupid. Now, do you know what? Do you know what? Screw it. Let's go do the boss. We've got such little ammo left, and we kind of need the ammo we have. Let's go and let's go and get a boss kill now. There you go. Get this guy. Like I said, I think we are going to run out of ammo before the end of this fight. I really, really do not know what that means for us. Because once we run out of ammo, we technically don't have a weapon. Are we going to have to dodge roll into him to deal damage? Because if so, that is certainly our demise. 24 bullets left on the only gun we have. Okay, it calls on a new gun. Is it just a random gun or is it the same gun? It's a random gun. Okay, and that's the Makarov this time. Okay, cool. So it must be like a small selection of guns. Surely you wouldn't get the Makarov twice in a row. But that's cool. It just gives you a new weapon when you run out of ammo. That's that's a, that's a good thing to know that. 
So we don't have to get a weapon on the first floor. It's not absolutely necessary in order to play this character. Did we get hit on the boss or did we hit it earlier? I don't remember. I think it was earlier. I don't think it was on the boss. And this mag should kill him. Yeah, it did indeed. Nice one. And let's see what we're going to get. A master round. A gold casing as well. That's not bad. And two keys, which are pretty worthless. I will, in fact, take uh, take this though. I need to read the notes. I keep forgetting. I'm sorry. Don't judge me. Go to the oubliette, you fool. Don't go down there. Don't forget yet again. All right, let's go up here and, uh, and actually go to the oubliette. Nice. And now we get an extra rainbow chest, which does, uh, does work out quite nicely. It gives us one extra item to stack up and, and play with. We, we, we want one. Oh. Oh. What? 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 It's got infinite ammo. The wind gunner. It won't let us change weapon. Um, that. I want that. Blank bullets. Oh, it's gone. That was sad. We had an infinite ammo thing for a little while there. Although blank bullets seem amazing. Seem very amazing indeed. Especially if they trigger fairly often like they are right now. We are going to have to complete this floor with the uh, with the macro though, which is a bit sad, but... It's how we got to play this, because I, um, I didn't take a gun. Because I thought we had an infinite ammo weapon that got taken away from us instantly. Very, very sad. Can we get a big oof in chat? Like I say in chat, like I'm streaming. Ah, uh, that was a bad idea. I rolled too soon. I'm liking these blank bullets though. They're cool. I want that note. I want to see what it does. Ah, there's a jam dude. We don't have curse. Go away. He must start with some curse. He must do. Right. Oh my god. I want to go help the elevator guy or do something to do with the elevator because I'm sure that's how you level this thing up. Said something to do with maintenance. Maybe you can't do it once you think once you've uh, completed that. That's why it says about like if not that then determination. Maybe that's why. Oh, we got the synergy. We got two of them now. But I want one now. We got both of them. Oh yes, boy. I don't know how we got that, but we have it. Ow, that hurt. Don't hurt me like that, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do it. Oh, that's a jammed boy. How much curse do we have? Oh my god, there's so many blanks going on. It, the, the blanks seem to be a very small radius, which is obvious, considering the ridiculous power of the synergy. Of this item, sorry. But they seem to be fairly regular, which is nice. Fairly regular indeed. Like, look at that. Like, every single bullet. Every single volley of bullets, at least, is triggering a blank. Every second or third hit. Oh my god, the blank effect is cool. Luckily, it doesn't like a game either. It seems to have improved the performance. Like, before that, that would definitely have liked the game a bit. I'm taking a lot of damage here. Thanks for that heart. <laughs> a nice consolation prize there. We did actually open this as well. Don't know if that was with the blank bullets. I think it was. Because I, I didn't have any armor, did I? No, I don't think I did. So it must have been with the blank bullets. That's cool that they can open secret rooms then. Not And it's not even just... Okay, we lost we lost the uh, the weapon there. But it's not even just that it um, opens the... It shows the secret rooms. It actually opens them as well. It's really good. Hey, you die. Leave those kids alone. And they do the, the blanks do damage as well. As you saw there, it did kill those bats. So it is a little bit of extra damage. Nice. I like, I like to see that. A little bit of extra HP. Not the secret room. It did look like it, but it's not. So yeah, it's a little meager, meager bit of extra damage. Even if the blank effect isn't actually doing that much for you. Which it should be. But even if it isn't. That meager bit of extra damage could really help you out. Ah. We are getting the extra shots from the macro from the synergy as well. Right. Go away, shotgunner. We kind of need to basically trigger the blank on the enemy as the enemy fires in order to delete their shots. Otherwise, the shot's just too far away and it doesn't really work. Ah. I believe the, the the Navi thing, whatever you want to call it, the, the big green orb we got following us is what we unlocked for, uh, for unlocking this character as well. 
Very nice, very nice. Ah! Get him! Nice. Right, this should be the boss here. Like I said, it's, it's unfortunate we can't buy any better guns because at the minute we don't have anything. Apart from the, the club, but that's out of hammer. So we did get to keep the club by the looks of it. Offer, offer, offer. We can offer some junk to that shrine there in order to get some armor. It's not the best deal in the world, but it's better than nothing. And I probably will lose some of it on this room. Trap rooms have new music. I like that. That's nice. It's fresh. It's new. I love it. Here's our boss. We're gonna have to fight him with this this piece of poo. But the blank the blank effects, even though they're not gonna trigger too often because we're not firing that fast. Even when they do trigger, it's gonna be semi useful at least. It's just gonna be it's just gonna mean this boss fight takes quite a long time. Because this thing does not have decent damage in the slightest. Oh, there we go. Look, that was, that's quite a lot of uh, effect that got going there. It deleted an entire one of his blobby blobs. Okay, the, the blank bullets are a bit better than I thought. They have a bit of a wider radius than I would have assumed they would. I did get hit there, but that's that's because I'm that's because I'm kind of playing a bit lackluster here, playing a bit terrible because I've got this item and I'm not really. I'm kind of using I'm kind of using it as an excuse having this pistol. I'm using it as an excuse to play badly and not try as hard, <laughs> which is a bad thing really. I should be I should be trying my hardest to try and get a decent win here, and I got hit again. Don't judge me. And Navi thing seems to block shots. It definitely does block shots. Maybe you have to absorb a certain amount of shots with it. You reckon that's the thing, or is that am I not onto anything there? Am I onto something or not? Hmm. Who knows? So our next rainbow chest, we really need to take uh, an item, preferably one with decent amount of ammo that has um, that has the ability to room clear and boss kill. That would be preferable. That would be an item that would make most sense. But then again, they are few and far between. So who knows if we'll even get the chance to get something of that caliber. I'm, I'm not even sure what exactly would fill... I mean, a mega hand would be good, but then again, that's kind of basic. But then again, it'd come with all the synergies, which would be kind of cool. Who knows? Who knows? No. Nice job. Did you get hit? The rain train. <laughs> Uh, I'm liking his notes. I need to read more of them. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's loads of different variants of those notes. And I'm sure they're like specific to each floor and things like that. Here's our rainbow chest. We keep getting this bandana. I don't particularly want that. Rubidine Mark II would be would be a good choice here. With blank bullets, it'd probably be quite good. Um I'm gonna go with it. It's got a synergy as well, so that's good. It's very powerful indeed. We won't know what the synergy is, unfortunately. Unless maybe if we pick up the gun again. Reckon that'll show us the synergy? No, it doesn't. Sadly. Sadly, it doesn't show us the synergy. Oh my god. The, the blanks it triggers. Just These are just good. It's just good, boy. It's just good. In challenge mode. I can do that. What you got for us? Last bullet standing and shockwave. We can't kill the spider until everything else is dead. Got that key just in time, not that we need it. There you go. Got him. Very nice, very nice. Get our reward. Ah, it's nothing. No rainbow, no item. <laughs> He's a bit of a dick. I like him though. He needs to say banger though. He needs to say it's a, that's a banger because... It is, this is this challenge is inspired by Retromation, and so far I don't see any hint of Retromation in this at all, which is really sad because he should definitely be credited for this. This is this is a hundred percent his creation. He, need, he needs to he needs to receive credit. I did ask him on stream as well. Apparently he didn't receive any sort of warning or anything that this would be part of the game. So if they're not if they don't give him credit in the game, that'd be kind of sad. It, it'd be it'd be a good idea for the devs to give him some sort of shout out. And uh, his his catchphrase would be a good way to do that, but well, maybe maybe, there, maybe it isn't here. Maybe I just haven't seen it yet. I just haven't come across it. Hopefully we will eventually. But these blank bullets for now, I'm liking them. I'm liking them a lot. More blanks. Maybe we increase our chance for blanks to drop. We've got a lot. Ammo. That's really good. This is this is kind of on the level of the item I wanted. It doesn't quite have the ammo that, that we we need in a boss killer slash room clearer, but it's good enough. Like it will do. And we don't need to go to our item room, so we can go straight for our boss. And with full ammo, we're, we're gonna pretty much wreck this woman. Pretty much wreck her. Ah. 
There you go. The blank. I like that. Helps out a lot. Helps out a lot and a lot. Gorgon's going down pretty quick. Obviously, Gorgon, as you guys know, is a fairly easy boss anyways. But with the extra blanks we're getting and the high damage of this gun, she's kind of been wrecked. And obviously, the boss DPS cap being changed. It's quite nice. It allows us to just finish off bosses that little bit quicker. Another note. Nice job. Did you get hit? Ah, oh, it's the same note as last time. Boring. By the rain train yet again. Head down to the next floor. I, I really don't know what I want in this next item here. Um, it'd be nice to get Ancient Hero's bandana because I keep showing up, but I don't know. I want something more unique. Well, Platinum Bullets is, is just about right. I'll take Platinum Bullets. That's a flat damage upgrade along with a massive fire rate upgrade for the more kills we get. Very happy with that. Unfortunately, no synergies for it, but I don't think Platinum Bullets has many synergies anyways unless you have the gun, which obviously it's not going to give us a gun, so that doesn't really work. Doesn't really play. Oh, there we go. We found a secret room there. Nice. Oh, he won't let us have it. I forgot. Meanie. Oh, beanie. Meanie, bo beanie. Let's move on. Like, I'm kind of really wanting, like, a big old boss killer as our next as our next chest weapon. Trying to blast through these floors as quick as possible. Now, the one thing I have to say about Rainbow Runs, like, the official Rainbow Runs, that is a bit on the, on the duller side. They should have an option so that you can still get chests and stuff. So you can get, like, powerful runs that get even more powerful because, like, it's only a single-player game. It's only for fun. Like, if people want to have super OP runs, just let them have them. Like, limiting you is is a challenge, but considering you get to choose the item, and a lot of them are A and S tier, it's not that big of a challenge. So, I don't know. Maybe if you do these in turbo mode, it'd be a bit more challenging, and that is something I'm yet to try, but, I mean, I can move on to that in the future. It depends what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see more turbo mode, please let me know. Uh, I can incorporate more of that. Honestly, didn't play too much turbo mode during AG and D's lifespan. Like, I went through a phase of playing only turbo just to try and better myself at the game, and then I did introduce it into my series for a while, and then when we started doing challenges on Mob the Dungeon and things like that, I kind of stopped. Uh simply because we were getting into the fit stages where it didn't make sense to have turbo mode enabled along with all the other stuff we were doing. So I kind of stopped doing it as much, but I've got a decent amount of practice in it and I'm sure after a few runs I could get back into the swing of things. So if you guys want to see a bit more turbo mode, let me know and I can start activating that on at least one in two of my runs, like every other run and get a bit more uh, get a bit more difficulty involved in my runs. Because like, I'm only on like 33 deaths I think I'm on now, which... Considering my save file is 0 to 100%, 38 deaths is... 30, sorry, 33 deaths is quite low. I have very, very few deaths on my save file, considering. It's something I'm quite proud of, but it's not a number that I keep precious to my heart. The fact that I knew I did it in this little is all I need to know. I don't, I don't have to keep the number at that level. I'm actually gonna... I'm actually gonna gun munch these two guns and see what I get. I don't think you've nerfed letters because they're starting weapons, but they do consume ammo, so it should. So only infinite ammo weapons that it doesn't let you gun munch. I'm just hoping for something automatic with a bit better ammo capacity. Hey, gun muncher. Do you want this? There we go, boy. Have this too. And also, things with synergies. Just give me anything with a synergy. I'll be happy. Boy. Throw it out now, y'all. Flash rare. Oh, yes. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. We got the Flash Garden synergy, if you're wondering what synergy we got. Pretty good synergy, actually. Not particularly good with Platinum Bullets, this gun, because it's it's not an automatic weapon. But it's still going to be useful. The damage upgrade's still going to apply, and the, the fire rate is going to be increased still. It's just, it's only as fast as we can pull the trigger, rather than as fast as it can just fire itself. We have received bouncy, uh, bouncy shots on this, which is pretty cool. I like bouncy shots. They're fun. They make any gun, any gun fun. Any gun fun. That's a saying I like. Make any gun fun. To be fair, that's what this character is, Gunslinger in general, is just the make any gun fun the character. Do we have any ammo in the shop before we continue? We do not. Carry on with this boss then. Cannonball Rag. You are kind of my nemesis. Oh, and we empty the magazine, just the camera effect. That's cool. We did get hit there, but it seems to briefly slow time as well. Yeah, very, very, very briefly slows time.
Yeah, I am going to get hit a few times on this fight. Mainly because I've not got a really great weapon for this. I've not got much defensive abilities. And honestly, this boss, even though I've practiced him a lot and I've played this boss many, many a time, he is still probably my worst boss in performance-wise. Like, if you look at all the bosses, including the rat and everything, that my... My least likely to succeed on, by succeed I mean not get a flawless, rat doesn't really count with that, but um, not get a flawless is definitely this boss. I think I think I probably have a higher chance of getting a flawless on the high priestess, but I have played the high priestess a lot less. He is a lot less common than kind of Borag, so maybe that's why, but I still find kind of Borag quite a pain, even though a lot of people find him a fairly easy boss. What are you saying this time? Nice job to get hit, the rain train, yet again. Same one. Think of something original, boy. Uh, Ooh, uh, a spicy burp. I'm a very apologetic. I did not mean to do this belch. Rainbow chest. Riddle of lead is very good. That's that's better. With the fire rate, this is so good. Like, we fire a lot of shots very quickly. It has decent ammo. It's decent for room clearing and boss killing. It's exactly what I wanted. Unfortunately, no synergies, which is a bit sad. I was hoping for at least one. But you win some, you lose some. Getting so many blanks. That must be a feature to do with blank bullets. We're getting so many blanks. I wonder when all the wikis and things will get updated with exactly what um, what stat changes and things will come. I've actually just got in contact with a guy very recently. Uh, oh, God. Over the uh, over in the Enter the Gungeon Discord, who is a data miner, and he's been looking up the statistics and actual stat changes and rebalances of a lot of the weapons and items in the game and if you can get together a nice little grouping of uh of actual changes and damage numbers things like that i'm gonna make a, a little video explaining some of them uh just what's been changed since ag and d and how exactly the things that have been changed have been changed and also how how much damage some of the new items do just so you guys can see exactly what you're getting and know which items that were bad that are now good like ruby bracelets obviously one of those we've seen that in the past already um and in the tutorial video i did but there's got to be others uh, we saw that armor of thorns has been rebalanced the same with ice bombs looks to be have, looks to have been rebalanced but there could be so many more they did say there's gonna be a lot of rebalances so it's very, very possible that there's more, and we don't know about them, so hopefully if this guy uh, gets back to me with with, um, with some data mined information for us before the uh, before the mainstream get a hold of it, then I can bring it to you guys kind of exclusive, and that'd be, that'd be rather nice. It might even go out before this video does, like, I don't really know what my upload schedule is yet. I could very easily upload two, two videos a night, two episodes a night, but I, I think that might compromise my views, and so I'm not sure whether to do that or not. It's, I don't know, what do you guys think? Two episodes a night, is that too much? Is that too much? It might well be. Hey, Mindy and Wendy, how are you girls? How are you doing this evening? Let's go to our boss. This ammo isn't going to be enough to get us through the whole fight, unfortunately, but it should it should at least do as well. The, the blanks on this boss with the fire rate we've got is going to be absolutely awesome. It's going to destroy the vast majority of shots and make this guy a lot easier also as we see with the raised dps cap this thing's shredding it normally would do okay now it's shredding absolutely just tanking through that hp in a fashion that i'm quite happy with look at that i didn't think that ammo would anywhere near get us through the boss because before it wouldn't it definitely wouldn't have done and now it did right we do have the extra secret floor here I don't want to give up any items because I just don't have items to give up. That's cool. It is cool that it's the cell creep as well. I'm surprised they didn't just incorporate it into the normal cell creep to make it a little less obvious how to get down there. I was I was actually expecting and hoping it'd be a lot more secretive, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't I don't expect the devs to be like the best thing ever. Everything they do has to be super well planned out and like crazy and they have to spend 15,000 hours making it, creating it, spriting it, voicing it, sounding it, all that sort of shit. I don't expect that. I don't need that from a game. Um, go with explosive bullets. I know we had explosive bullets on the last one, but it's just so fun with fast fire rate. And this gun has very fast fire rate, so I just kind of want it. I would like to get some more ammo drops plus. There you go. There you go. I wonder if blank bullets works with amulets. Because if it does, 
That would be crazy. You can basically apply status effects to your shots. That would be really, really powerful. I, I guarantee it does. All blank effects trigger trigger amulets. So I'm pretty sure it would. But that's pretty cool if it does. Ah. Stand back, heathen. E. Nice bit of HP for us there. Again, no point going to the blacksmith or anything. We just want to find our boss straight away. Because there's just nothing for us at the blacksmith. We don't even want to do the pass. We've done the pass before. And we are not equipped enough. We... We are nowhere near equipped enough. It was hellish last time. Absolutely hellish. We only just made it through it with stuff we had. There we go. We've completed this room, have we? No, there's more. But wait, there's more. There we go. We're almost done with it now. Hopefully. Depends if we're going the right way, actually. Uh, I might be completely wrong. I might be, ta I might be spouting out that bullshit. I hope not. I hope not. Sweet Mary Jane. Ah, Spectral Cat. Go away, Spectral Cat. No one likes you. Reminds me of that meme, like, Spectral Cat can't hurt you. And then it's like, Spectral Cat. I probably sound like an absolute fe fedging idiot right now. Hey, your chest. Give me Junkin, or give me death. God damn it. We did go the wrong way. Happy days. Almost out of ammo. Basically already out of ammo. Only the flash ray. We got three guns in this entire run. How good is that? I should have taken um, Agent Hero's bandana when we when we had the chance. Ammo! Yes, Pappy! God damn, I have to wait for this entire elevator thing. God damn it. Keep her going, keep her... Is that lava effect new? I don't think it is. Just my head. Just my head playing games with me. This is pretty good DPS. With, with the explosive bullets, this is pretty good DPS. I have to admit that. Oh, fire. Haha! -ha. I fire lasers, not bullets. You can't do anything against me. I've never been happier to make one of these. Here's the bullet. Fair enough. I don't know why she says that line. By the way, I found out there is a way to make a f the finished gun. It is in the game files, but I don't know how to make it. There must be some additional steps you have to do. Oh, by the way, I never went to the I never went to the elevator repair. I forgot completely. Let me try go there now. Let me try go there now. Is there anything for me down here? Oh, that's it. Ah. That's it. We got it. Okay, so it's just go down to the elevator. You only get it for a limited time, though. That's kind of garbage. Limited time. Why? Maybe if we get kills with it after the fact... It lets to keep it for longer. Because it said, like, courage and bravery. Maybe not getting hit does it. Nah, it's back to a normal item. I don't know what to think of that. That's a very weak amount of time. Aim says, stop sticking to the cube that we can't kill, please. That's a very weak amount of time to get that gun for. It's very cool, but we, we don't get it for very long at all. Game okay, minimized, as always. Come to expect these things. Who knows why it does it. Oh, the explosion. Well, that explosion was brilliant. As I said before, tickety boo. Get him, cube boy. You're dead. You're dead. You're a junkin. Oh, give me death. Wait, junkin. It's a mimic. We don't get anything from you. Just a no. God's sake. They need to make they make need to make chests maybe do something. This is impossible. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, there's ammo in here. There's ammo in here. Where? Oh, it's over here. Right. Got to take it for this thing. It's too good not to. There's also something here. It is a gun muncher. 
we just can't afford to use it. We have three guns to our name. Dragon, hello. How are you, friend? We basically have to get, like, a god tier. Like, a god level uh, gun from our... Uh, from our chest when we go down to the to the bullet hell. Otherwise, we're going to be screwed. We really are. We're really going to be in a bad position here. I'm going to try and use this because I don't want to use the ammo of my better guns. I'm trying to fire it as fast as I can with uh, platinum bullets. It seems to be pretty down fast. Die. I didn't get either of them. I used a blank there as well. How do I not get either of these guys? What the hell? You've screwed me. You stupid bullet knife. This is so slow. I have to use this thing. It's just... The other one's too slow. Ow. I'm getting hit too much. Call the police. The dragon's hitting me. Too much, man. It's too much. I like the way I said call the police and our ammo landed on 420 as I said that. Yeah, look at that. Just look at the damage you can actually do now. It feels so satisfying. It feels so worthwhile to have good guns. We need to figure out what, with this gun, what having courage has. Because going down to the elevator can't be the only thing that increases, that gives you the transformation. It's got to be. It's got to be something else. It's got to be something else that gives you it. Otherwise, it'd be pointless. And why do I not have this reloaded? I could have one-cycled. I could have one-cycled, but I never reloaded. Stupid me. I'll go check the blacksmith to see if he has any ammo as well after we've done this. Just in case I can fill this thing up again, that'd be nice. Just a little bit extra to fight the boss with. Fight the lich with, I mean. And see how that goes from there. You're done now. Right. Let's go down. No ammo. I'm gonna try something here. Bit, bit glitchy, maybe. Right, let's try this. Go down here. Up here. Down there. I didn't mean to go down again, by the way. Let's wait for it to reset again. It's so fast firing. Look at it. It's awesome. Let's wait for it to disappear. Triggers so many blank effects. Right. Then go down. Go back up. Then teleport away. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying to glitch it into pe being permanently in that state by basically changing it into the state and going down to another floor and hoping it doesn't reset its state. But it looks like that green blob it has, which is a shame. But I was hoping maybe we could trick it into staying in that infinite ammo state and that'd be really cool. But it doesn't seem to have worked. Oh, oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Now, we could take Chaos Amulet for the sheer awesomeness of having the blank effect but I'm thinking Vulcan Cannon because it gets the death machine thing oh my god it's insane it's absolutely insane my god this is awesome I like it with explosive bullets and blank bullets this is just too good it's too good man Far too good. Yeah, we need something to do with our money and keys on this uh, thingy. There should be a cursed shop on every one of these runs where you can pick up a few extra items, I think. Full price cursed shop. That'd be cool. Then you can spend keys, you can spend money. And it'd just be a nice way to get a few extra items. Nice. Ammo there is a really good place to have it. Nice. He's still not dead. Ah! Uh, got him. More ammo. More ammo! My god! It's ammo central in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go this way. I feel it's this way. Something speaks to me. Nope, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It's this way. I knew straight away as soon as I went the way. Nope, I'm wrong. It's this way. This feels so good to use. It's very rare to get platinum bullets in this crazy thing. But I just had to. I kind of forgot about the death machine synergy, but 
Having Platinum Bullets made me want to take it either way. And it ups its fire rate with the synergy and ups its ammo, so seems like a good idea. I think it ups its damage, maybe, or knockback, one of the two. The blank bullets are too good, man. They just too good. For triggering like uh, triggering a blank like every half second. It's mad. This is madness. No. This is Sparta. Do you remember when that was a meme? Back in like 2000. Everyone used to quote that. Back in school. Of course, none of you will remember that because... Well, actually, some of you might. I don't know how many of you were in the UK and are uh, 21 years old. That seems about the only time that would have happened. Nah, maybe within the age of like 19 to 23. While you're in school in the UK is probably a time when you heard that. I don't know. Maybe it was in America as well. It just seems like kind of a UK thing. It's like Devo. Does anyone remember Devo? Does anyone know what Devo is? Not just remember it. Devo is... If, for those of you that don't know, chavs are something we... Basically, a, a group of people in the UK that... that Drakes a society. The chavs, basically. Chavs are just people like sit on street corners and threaten people and stuff like that. And like, like graffiti, random abandoned buildings and shit like that. They're the people that just do random shit and crime and crap. And basically, this guy, this comedian, like pretended to be a um, pretended to be a chav, and like made this like little video where it's called MC Devo, and he like went around going, "Oh, I'm me, I'm so hard," and all this sort of stuff. And uh, it was really funny. And he actually did a, quite a few of the sh uh, the shots in it in my city, in my hometown. Uh, which, which is not exactly something to be proud of, but it was funny to see a lot of the places that I that I knew quite well appear in a in a video like a comedy sketch, and oh, it's, it's just it's so funny. If those of you, if those of you want to know what chavs are like, and I mean this is like legitimately what they're like, like his his portrayal of them is is very accurate. Uh, if you if you want to see what chavs are like in the UK, just type in Devo, and I don't know if it's like an E4 sketch maybe. Uh, E4 is like a, a TV channel here. I'm not sure if it's an E4 sketch or, or not. It might well be. I might be wrong about that. Uh, but it's it's somewhere around there. And he like he like goes to the job center and like goes to the goes to the off license cheap beer shop and uh, he like starts dr going out and drinking in the park in like a children's park as well. I mean like with like a playground and slides and monkey bars and stuff. And he's like out there on the uh, on the merry-go-round just drinking beer. And that is genuinely the sort of stuff they do. Like, legitimately, it's crazy. We have some weird people in our country. I mean, America does too. I mean, so, do, so does every country, really. But I think I think chavs kind of trump it all. Ch like, think of chavs as like the back-end redneck sort of white trash sort of guys of the UK. That's that's what you kind of need to think, think of. Oh, I should have taken that for my death Vulcan thingy. By the way, our health's getting fairly low. I need to be more careful. I've just been talking away and not really paying attention to me getting hit. But I've been getting hit quite a lot. So I need to pay more attention to the game. Stop talking about UK champs. I don't know how I even got onto this tangent, but who knows? <laughs> oh, I'm just remembering more bits. This is like for a really long time near where I used to live at home. There was like an abandoned sort of train yard. So, well, it wasn't train yard. It was like, it was like a train bridge with a with like a... A train yard where they like pick up cargo and stuff. There was like an abandoned one of them near me, like a really old one. Uh, and he, there was a video where he was he was up there. Uh, like I said, he filmed some of the things in my city. And he was up there and he like found like a printer that had obviously been laid there for for years. And it was like just weathered and destroyed and crappy. And like the wire was all exposed. And he was like, maybe I can take this down shop and get a tenner for it. Maybe I can sell it. <laughs> it's just. That's that's the sort of stuff they do. Like we have um we have people here called Rag and Burn Men as well, uh, which are basically basically people that that like travellers. They they don't live anywhere, they just travel around cities. And they make their living by just like selling crap. Like go around and pick up garbage and sell it. I mean, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do, but like that's the sort of stuff they do. They like find literal crap and try and sell it to people. They're like, yeah, do you want this? I'll give you twenty quid for it. Right, this, this should melt him. Also, it's basically the best CC you've ever seen. We just can completely stun lock him with uh, with blanks. Blank bullets are my new favorite thing. Confirmed. Oh. 
Hopefully we don't run out of ammo. I'm hoping we can get this phase down in a de with a decent amount of ammo left. More than half. So we've got 366 for the next phase. That should hopefully take care of the next phase. Might have a little left over, and then we've got 200 rounds of the Vulcan Cannon, and then 300 rounds, 150, sorry, in that. That should be more than enough to get this done. Let's reload there. I don't know if there's going to be an achievement for beating the Lich with this guy on t on um, a rainbow run. I have, I have no idea. I'm really unsure, but we'll, we'll find out, won't we? We'll find out. Oh, God. It managed to get through the CC. I really like that our little Navi ball blocks bullets. It makes it quite useful to have, even though it's not tra transforming. It should transform, like, every 20 kills or something like that. That would be a better use of it. Oh, bloody hell. I got hit. He's a blank there. It's a good use of a blank. CC the hell out of him. Didn't even get to fire. Nice. That's what I like to call a nice shot there, boy. Right, cool. On to the last phase. We've still got ammo left in this, so we can still use this for a little bit at least. I managed to CC the hell out of him there as well. Get down to the bottom. Oh, that's so good. And then get this thing. Oh, God. He just can't. He just can't even. This thing's so much better. And now we've made a little gap here, we can just chill. There we go. How easy was that? Hey, little litchy boy. Gonna kill ya. Bam. Very nice. Another win with this boy. Well played. Well done. To me. Nah, I'm joking. I'm not that cocky. Uh, but that was a good run. It was fun. Oh, wait. Something's happening here. Oh, wait, no. Maybe not. The, the sides went a bit phasey, and normally that means that... Uh, Normally that means that there's a past coming, but obviously not. That is the first time we've beaten the Lich properly, the normal Lich with that guy though, so... Do we get anything for that? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what unlocks exist right now. Look at the items we had, like nothing. Anything? I don't actually know how many unlocks we have left. Probably not many. Cool. Yeah, we've not got any... Oh, we have We have got more at Doug. The Predator. Looks a bit strange. Knight's Gun. <gasps> shovel Knight. That's got to be Shovel Knight. It just has to be. Okay, we'll turn off Rainbow Mode for now. Oh, wait. We got... We filled up the other thing, look. That's, that must be for killing the Lich guy. Look at that. Nice. I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Right, let's just see if there's any other elevators. I doubt there is. Do you have anything to say? Just shut up a minute. Stop blabbering on. Anything to say? Okay. Boss rush. Nah, there's nothing new. Nothing new at that guy. Hey! Thank you. I'll do that later. Don't worry. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is probably going to be the end of the big old recording session. I've been recording since 3 o'clock. And it is now... Recording and editing, that is. It is now... My phone's dead. Um, 14 minutes past 12. So I've been recording for what is like... 7... 9 hours straight. I had a good time. I have to tell you. I enjoyed it. I only did like seven runs, I think. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you stick around. Hope those of you that are new that are enjoying as well. I know a lot of you have subbed since uh, I started doing a farewell to arms. I've, I've got a massive influx of subscribers. I, I, I appreciate it massively. Um, welcome to you all. I don't know when this video will go out. It could be a few weeks after the update has initially come out. Maybe, well, not a few weeks. It could be a few few days, uh, maybe a week or so. But I hope you guys are still sticking around, and I hope you guys still enjoy my content. And yes, I'll see you guys in the next one. Au revoir.